This is Grant Troop of the Ag Reports Network, Mid-Atlantic Correspondent. I'm here today in Lebanon County, outside of Lebanon, with Del Voigt, Penn State Extension Educator, here in the county, and we're looking at some uh, plot work with varying planting dates um, on one of the farms that we work with, and Del's going to tell us a little bit about it. Okay, this is a uh, Park to Plow participant, uh, Richard Kreider, and um, he's been no-tilling for several years now. His, uh, also a participant in the Five Acre Corn Club in Pennsylvania and has averaged a little over 240 bushels per acre over a three-year period. Um, we were putting a plot out to assess early planting dates. So on my right, um, we're looking at a, a field that was planted May 1st. And then uh, on my left is a, a, a seven days prior to that, April 26th. And then we also have a um, April 18th planting date and also an April 9th planting date. Uh, those were the times that would allow us to get in and do the, to get things planted. And as we look at uh, the rainfall that we had in May, we had 10 inches of rain, so we lost a lot of nitrogen early, but uh, this field had uh, starter fertilizer and he used row cleaners. If you pan down, you can see some of his paths from the row cleaners. And also, if you look in between the rows, you can find residue from two years ago from his corn crop and then some of his bean stubble from last year's crop. And the earthworms have made their nests to, uh, as a food source that will allow for uh, its feeding. And uh, <clears throat> the other thing you'll notice uh, is we had slug damage and uh, Mr. Kreider has done everything he could to avoid that. And one of those is early planting, using row cleaners, and using the starter fertilizer. And, uh, and what we have is we have a little bit more feeding damage on this later corn. Um, and the early planting, if we were to look at that, would be much less as far as the amount of damage to the crop. And so that's another tactic is getting in early. Uh, we dropped 34,000 plants per acre. And we ended up with about 29,000 plants per acre um, average um, in this field. So uh, this is just another case where success with no-till can, can happen even in adverse conditions.